morning, my friends. I hope you had a wonderful Easter, and today is Earth Day, and we are in the month of April. We're still in the month of April, and it's spring, and the weather is changing. It's going to be a hot day today. The last time we saw each other, we did an experiment with seeds, with bird seeds. And remember what we need are three things, the dirt, the water, and the sun. So we had a, a, a sponge with dirt and water and the sun. We had one with no dirt and one with no sun. And look at the difference. Look how pretty the grass is growing over here. And it looks so sad here because there was no dirt. And look at how it's not that green because there was no sun. So that was our experiment last time. And today, my friends, we are gonna be talking about bugs. Look at all the bugs that I have there. Bugs can be pretty. And some of them can be not so pretty. My favorite bug is a ladybug, the butterflies, the caterpillars, the snails. And there are flies, there's grasshoppers, ants. And uh, right now I want to tell you a little bit about ladybugs. And ladybugs are round and they're red. Some of them are red. Ladybugs are little round bugs. Ladybugs have six legs. They have three body parts, the head, the neck, and the body. Most ladybugs are red with black spots. Some are yellow with black spots. This ladybug is on a flower and it opens its wings and out comes two big wings for flying. Fly away, ladybug. Now thank goodness for ladybugs because ladybugs eat some ugly bugs that are called aphids and aphids kills our flowers kills our grass kills our plants and mommies and daddies do not like aphids and aphids are actually the color white they look like this and we cannot see them when with their with our eyes they're very very tiny so if you get a leaf and what do we say we don't put anything in our mouth only with food but we lick the leaf you just ate a lot of aphids, blah. But thank goodness for ladybugs. God created ladybugs so he could take care of our plants so he could eat all the aphids. Now the thing about ladybugs is bird, ladybugs are not afraid of birds because they're not very tasty and birds don't like them. So they just fly away. And aphids do their job, the ladybugs do their jobs. They eat the aphids. So, and those are the ladybugs. The other thing I want to be talking to you about, caterpillars. Oh, that's my favorite, watching the caterpillars slither. And I'm going to read you a story about caterpillars. Now, caterpillars comes from an egg. There's the two eggs right there. They have very thin shells. And he comes out, he crawls out of his shells. And the first thing that what's happening is that they are hungry. And they munch, munch, munch. And they munch all day. And when they get bigger and bigger, he says, oh my goodness, I am so full and I'm getting sleepy. So they go to a branch and they go upside down and they wait and they wait and they sleep. And as they're turning, their bodies turn into a chrysalis, just like that. And for a while, things are happening inside that are changing. And when the shell starts getting thin, you can literally see the wings of a butterfly. And when he comes out, he slithers, he crawls himself out of, the, out of the shell, the chrysalis, and his wings are all wet. He can't fly yet. And he flutters and he flutters and he flutters. And when his wings unfold, he gets to fly. And he flies and he has a special tongue, just like this butterfly here. And that tongue, it, he unrolls it and he drinks the nectar, it's the juice of the flower. Mm, mm, mm. And guess what? The butterflies are not afraid of birds either because they're not very tasty and the birds don't like to eat butterflies. So we are gonna do a little art. Today, this is an egg carton. And where does the egg carton come from? This is where your mom buys eggs and the eggs are sitting in the egg carton. You're gonna cut it in half and if you have paints, you just paint the egg carton. If you don't have paints, which is okay, use crayons. Then you get a pipe cleaner, you cut it in half, and your mommy will probably have to help you with this. 
And all you have to do is staple it just like that. And you have the end two antennas, just like this caterpillar has. And now I'm gonna show you how to do a butterfly. With the butterfly, I'm sure you have this at home or there are coffee filters. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a coffee filter, shape of a circle. You're going to flatten it out like this. This is gonna be the very fun part. You're gonna put it right over here on a tray so that way you don't get anything messy. And you're gonna get your marker. And you're just gonna color it like this, just like that. And then you're gonna get another marker color. And you can make circles, you can make swiggy lines, just like I'm doing. And I'm gonna put some more colors on here. The more colors you have, the more it spreads. I'm gonna put one more color, which is gonna be a little bit of a red. Okay, now here's the fun part. You're gonna get a water bottle. And you're gonna squirt water on here. And look what's gonna happen. It's gonna absorb, the coffee filter is gonna absorb all the water and the colors are gonna spread just like that. And then you're gonna pick it up and see what happens. And you're gonna put it out in the sun. It's gonna take at least, you're not gonna believe, five minutes. And when it dries up, it's gonna look like this. See all my colors got all smeared together? Then you're gonna crunch it up in the middle, just like that. And there's the wings. You're gonna get a half of a pipe cleaner and you're gonna make it a little tied up along over here. And you're gonna have two antennas. And there's your butterfly, just like that. Now I wanna show you this book that I have here. It's a caterpillar butterfly. There is a caterpillar. There is a chrysalis. And days are going by, and out pops a beautiful butterfly. Okay, so today, my friends, that's what you're gonna be doing at home, and I'm gonna be sending you some homework to do, and I'm gonna email, and with this game, we did this once before with the egg, and what you're gonna do is, you're going to roll a dice that has a lot of numbers on it. You're gonna roll it. Oh, I rolled number two, one, two dots, and I gotta find the number two over here. Does it look like that? No, nope. there's two dots, one, two. You're gonna color it in, and you can put a ladybug on top, just like that, or just color it in. You roll it again. Oh, how many dots do you see there? I think I see five, help me count. One, two, three, four, five. And I think it's this one, you color that one in also. That's one homework. The other homework is I see some ladybugs with dots and I see some numbers over here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your pencil or marker and I see two dots over here. One, two. Where's the number two on over here? Is it this one? No. Well, there it is. You're gonna make a line going over here. And that's your homework right there. So, and then I have a game for you. It's called a bug game. We're gonna use the word bug. How do you spell the word bug? Oh, I, there it is, it's the letter B, U, G. And I have a ladybug right here. And we are going to put, I'm going to put the ladybug behind a letter and you're gonna guess where the ladybug is at. Oh, where'd the ladybug go? I don't know, let's see. Ladybug, ladybug, are you behind the letter? G, 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 hmm, let me see. No, you're not. Huh, ladybug, ladybug, are you behind the letter B? B, 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 let's see. No, you're not. Ladybug, ladybug, are you behind the U? There you are, the letter U. Now you could play this game with your moms and dads and your brothers and sisters. Okay, my friends, have a wonderful day. I'll see you next week. Bye, my friends.